like a, people see a 30 second news story and probably don't think much about the work that goes into it. Um, what is some of that work that goes into it? Cause I want I do want to yeah. get into the, I want to, I want to get that peek behind the curtain we talked about earlier. Yeah. So let's say it's a story that's going to run into, let's say it's a 45 second story with one interview. So normally there will be an assignment editor who's looking through some content for the day that says, Hey, Reporter Maria, we want you to cover this today. I want a VOSOT, which means VO, which is video over tape, and then SOT, which is like a sound bite. Okay. And then usually there's a trail VO behind the SOT. So it's like, I'm getting real technical. But essentially, it's if you look at it on TV, you're going to see Anchor's face, uh-huh. video, uh-huh. sound bite with an interview, Got it. and then more video. So it's but called there's a, a lot of legwork that goes into that. Right. So the first thing is you get assigned the story or you pitch the story as a reporter. So reporter Maria is assigned a story about adoption numbers at the Humane Society. Mm. So I'm going to say, okay, so I'm going to do some research first. So I'm aware of what are the adoption numbers? Are they up? Are they down? So let's say that adoption numbers are down and they need, you know, they can't take any more animals in because they can't get any adopted out. So... Reporter Maria is going to call the Humane Society and say, hey, I'm doing a story about this today. I would really like to talk to someone there if you're interested in kind of sharing and we can get some, you know, information about what's going on and hopefully give a push to our viewers to adopt an animal. Okay, so Humane Society says, sure. So probably the first 30 minutes that you're there, you're going to do the interview. You're going to set up and, you know, interview the director or whoever you're talking to. Mm-hmm. And then the next 30 minutes and the interview may take 10 minutes, but they're only going to use 30 seconds of the soundbite probably. Right. So yeah. it's whatever pieces that you feel like are relevant. Right. And like best, they sound best in right. a soundbite format. Yeah. So when I do media coaching to like nonprofits or companies or whoever, I always say, speak in sound bites. Let me explain to you what that is mm-hmm. because most people will just share their information and not think about, oh, someone's going to have to splice this. Yeah, This is, has to be a complete thought in 15 seconds. How do I do that? And it'll sound better if it's not spliced. Correct. Yeah, it sounds like you actually have your shit together. One full thought. Yeah. So um, then the rest of the time is going to spend be spent getting B-roll, which is the video of the dogs, of the cats, mm-hmm. of, you know, people working with them or playing with them in the in the play yard or something. So, okay, that may take an hour and a half by the time you get there and get back. So once you go back to the station, you have to write your story. So now you're importing your footage, you're writing out the anchor intro, which is like the first part, and then you have to write, okay, take VO, so I want the video to play here, and these are the four sentences that I'm going to put under the video, And now I'm going to lead into the soundbite. Sometimes you're going to say, okay, well, the shelters, the shelter director is hoping that these trends will improve. And now we're going to hear from the shelter director. Yeah. Right. And then to wrap it all up, this is where the trail VO comes in. The, the shelter director's soundbite ends, and then you're going to have an anchor read again, but the anchor is going to be under video. So you're, not really going to see them. Mm-hmm. And they're going to say um, the Humane Society is open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for information on how you can adopt your next pet. Visit the bond line at hsecarolina.org or something like that. Mm-hmm. So usually there might be more substance than that. This is just an example. That was still um, I was still thinking, wow, that was a really good like. So, yeah. So that's written and then it has to go to the producer for approval. OK, producer approves it. Mm hmm. Then the anchor has to approve it. And oftentimes um, an anchor might change a few words here or there to make it more readable for them. Right. Um, There's some words that people just cannot read on air. Like for the longest time I had a very difficult time. I was just about to say that. (laughs) Rural Eastern North Carolina. I can say it now, but when I moved here, it was like. Yeah. Rural rural North Carolina. (laughs) Could not get the rest of the word out. Yeah. Um, So for a long time I would do everything. Everything I could to just avoid that word. Um, <laughs> Can we say like, um, uh, I don't know, somewhere near a back road or right. <laughs> uh, it's got fields around it. Uh, yeah. A green space in North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's funny what, you know, changes might have to be made. What would you change it to? You ch- would you change it to? Oh, gosh, I forget. I would usually just take out rural and just say just like, Eastern North yeah. Carolina. 
Yeah, it was, all of it. Yeah, especially just moving here and trying to learn a lot of the interesting names of places mm-hmm. like Chinkapin. Was Chakawinity hard? Chakawinity. How about Kanita? Kanita. Yeah. Uh, yes, did you call I it remember. Conto? Of course, I did. Yeah. How can you not? I C-O-N-E-T-O-E. remember. C O N E T O E. Conto, yeah. but it's pronounced Kanita. Kanita. Yeah. 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 Um, and I remember a newer reporter starting and. When they were doing a story, I think they weren't live. They were in the studio, but the story had something to do with that area because it's like right on the edge of Pitt County. Mm-hmm. And um, they were, and I was reading their script. I was like, hey, you're going to want to put a pronouncer in here. And she was like, for Conto? I was like, yes, exactly. This is why we need a pronouncer. <laughs> and we like got into it a little bit. And I was like, uh, fine, make a fool of yourself on TV. Yeah. I'm literally trying to tell you. The lesson that I learned, you're gonna get, but that's blasted. fine. And then she ended up making the change. It was just kind of a Smart. funny exchange, yeah. and um, and then she was like, "Whew, thank you." Yeah, because it you did really, not. You were really gonna get eaten alive. Yeah, mm-hmm. people are people are. I mean, I'm I'm not even from that area. I mean, I'm from Belvoir, which is close. Also, not the easiest name to say. Really, Belvoir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you Belvoir. Would, Belv. I just say Belvoir. I don't. Belvoir, I don't. Yeah. yeah, it's probably some. It's probably like got a root in some. Yeah. European language. I think looking at it is more intimidating than actually like saying it. But it, it sounded, I would say moving fancier. moving here, anyone who's listening to this, please give grace to your newscasters because yeah. it is not easy to learn a bunch of cities at once. Belvoir. Belvoir. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that sounds better than Belvoir. Yeah. Anyway. It is difficult. Um, so that all happens in one day? Oh, yeah. I'm not done yet. Ready? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. Sorry. <laughs> once the anchor gives approval... Then you have to post it online. Mm. So you have to take your little Vosat that you wrote, which is about 45 seconds of content, and create a web article. Mm. Normally that means that you also need to add some links, some imagery. Maybe the video, once it's aired, will be added as well. And then you got to post it on social media. So there's like a lot of steps. And that's just one story. Normally reporters are assigned two or three of these a day. A day. Wow. Yeah. Hey there, hope you enjoyed that clip. You can find more clips like this and full video episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast on our YouTube channel. You can also listen to full episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast in audio form wherever it is you get your podcasts. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Audible, all the places. Also, follow us on social media. We're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. All the links are in the description. Have a nice day.